With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question it is given that at 40 degree centigrade vapor pressure in tor of methanol and ethanol solution is P is equal to 119x plus 135 where x is the mole fraction of methanol. So by Raoult's law, by Raoult's law, what we know? We know that pressure total is given by the P0 of A into XA plus P0 of B into XB. This we know by the Raoult's law. Now it is important. What is P0 of A and P0 of B? The vapor pressure of pure liquid, right? P0 of A and P0 of B is the vapor pressure of pure liquid. So that is what uh, it is. And what is XA and XB? XA and XB is our mole fraction, mole fraction of component A and B, right? Mole fraction of component, component A and B. So this much we know. Now, XA and XB are mole fraction of component A and B. Now, what is very, very important here? That, let's say that A, the component A is methanol. Component A is methanol and B is ethanol. Let's say that A is methanol and B is ethanol. So you have to express the equation in terms of mole fraction of methanol. That is mole fraction of component A. So let's express it. P total can be written as since we need to express the equation in mole fraction of component A because A was methanol. So let's say that uh, we will write it as it is. XA will be written as it is. But Instead of XB, what you can write? We all know that XA plus XB is going to be equals to 1, right? Because mole fraction of component A plus mole fraction of component B will be equals to 1. So from here you can say that XB will be equals to 1 minus XA, right? So finally, pressure total can be written as P0 of A into XA plus P0 of B minus P0 of B into XA, right? What is XA? The mole fraction of methanol. Now it has been given in the question that in the question it is given that mole fraction of methanol is equals to X. That is the for methanol. It is given that mole fraction of methanol is equals to X. So what we will substitute here? Instead of XA we will write X. So P0 of A into X plus P0 of B minus P0 of B into X. So if you take X common this expression that is the expression for total pressure can be written like this P0 of B plus X into P0 of A minus P0 of B. Right? Like this we can write down. Now, now what is given in the question? In the question we have been given that P is equals to 119X plus 135. So let's, now, let's write down what is given. P is equals to 119X plus 135. So you can write like this. P is equals to 119x plus 135. So I am writing out 135 plus 119x. Now, if you compare these two equations on comparing, right? If you compare these two equations, can you write down that on comparing these two equations, P0 of B is equals to 135 and what is P0 of a minus B, P0 of A minus P0 of B is equals to 119. So from here you will write down that P0 of A will be 119 plus P0 of B which can be written as 119 plus what is P0 of B? 135. So finally it will be how much? 119 and 135 on adding you will get it 345. 112 so it is 254 right it will be 254 how much 254 tor and this will be 135 tor so this is p naught of b and this is p naught of a right this is p naught of a now this is very important 254 now let's see what is given in the question the question says that vapor pressure of pure methanol is 119 tor so what is B? What was B? B was ethanol. So we will write that vapor pressure of pure ethanol. B was ethanol. So for ethanol it is 135 torr. And for methanol, for
for methanol, the vapor pressure of A was methanol. We have already taken A as methanol, so that is 254 torr. So let's see which of the following options are matching. So for ethanol, it is given 119. For methanol, it is 119 torr. For methanol, no, it's 254 torr. So the first option is correct. It is 254 torr. Now for pure ethanol, it is 135 torr. Yes, for pure ethanol, the vapor pressure is 135 torr. Yes, we have calculated here. For pure ethanol, the vapor pressure is 135 torr. So you will write here, this option is correct. Now vapor pressure of equimolar mixture of each is. So vapor pressure of equimolar mixture, you have been given that equimolar mixture of each is 127 torr. So let's calculate what will be the total vapor pressure. We know that total vapor pressure is always given by this formula P0 of A into XA plus P0 of B into XB. Now in the question it has been already given. It has been given that equimolar mixture. Equimolar mixture. So in case of equimolar mixture we all know what happens. The value of XA is equals to XB will be equals to half. Right. So now what you are going to write down PT will be equals to what is P0 of A. So we know it will be 135. Uh, uh, what is A? Let's check what was A. A was methanol. So for methanol, it is 254. So you will write 254 into half plus what is P0 of B? P0 of B is 135 for ethanol into half. So from here, when you will, so it will come out to be around 194.5 torr, right? So it will be around 194.5 torr the total uh, vapor pressure of the mixture, equimolar mixture, so it is again not correct. Now let's see, mixture is completely immiscible. So definitely we all know that mixture of, mixture of, mixture of ethanol and methanol, mixture of ethanol and methanol are completely miscible. Right? They are completely miscible. Why? Because of the, because of, because of hydrogen bond character. Right? Because of hydrogen band bond character, these are completely miscible in nature. So what we are going to write? What we are going to see? Let's check. Mixture is completely immiscible. No, mixture is not completely immiscible. It is miscible in nature. So which option is correct? Finally, we will say that option B is correct. Right? I hope you have understood. Thank you very much. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.